Hi guys, today I'm at Dark Sun Hearden, our attorneys of choice, and I'm here with JD. So JD, tell us a little bit about Dark Sun Hearden and your role in Dark Sun Hearden. Hello, thank you for having me. Uh, well, at Dark Sun Hearden, we are property specialists. We do bond cancellations, bond registrations and transfers of property. And we specialize, of course, in, in the property industry. We also do co corporate law, but we rather do transfers because we love working with agents like yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so also what I, what I really want to discuss and what comes up a lot when I, when I speak to my clients is the mandatory disclosure form and the FUSTUS clause in the offer to purchase. So I thought the best person to explain to us about these clauses and the forms is JD. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> So in 2019, the Property Practitioner Act was launched and the Mandatory Disclosure Report became indeed mandatory. And a form has now been published in 2022, in terms of which the Property Practitioner uh, Regulator has said to us that this is the form you need to use. Mm. They've also enacted legislation that says that if this is not done, the property is regarded as if it's been sold without any defects. And then unfortunately, not only the seller, but also the property practitioner can be held liable. So it's vitally important, sellers, that you sign this and that it's attached to your offer to purchase and your lease agreement for you to be protected. But you still have the protection of the full source clause. And this is very much so if we look at the regulations, because it says that this property declaration report is indeed not a warranty or a guarantee. It is simply a declaration of what you actually have knowledge of. And that's why we say it's to be read with the foot source clause. So if a purchaser has indeed uh, come about a, a defect and they want to sue you, they still need to prove uh, for you not to have the protection of the foot source clause that the seller knew about the defect, hid the defect, and did so with an intention to de uh, defraud the purchaser. So um, that is indeed a very hard burden of proof because it's not an objective test, but it is a test of whether your seller actually did it. So our advice is always have that disclosure report signed, attach it to the offer to purchase, and have your purchase counter sign that to make sure that you are covered. Perfect, thank you. And that's why, that's why in, the, in the mandate as well, as soon as I take a mandate, I always complete a property disclosure form just so that I can also advise my clients um, on the defects and, and they also go in there knowing, knowing what's what to expect. Absolutely. Mm. And then another thing I'd like to mention, um, is there anything else that we need to discuss around the foot clause clause and, and for disclosure? Is there anything we left out? No, I think the final point that, that, that we need to make sure is that unfortunately when buying a house from a seller, you are not buying a new house purchaser and therefore because you are buying a second hand house we need to understand that certain defects are going to be there mm -hmm. so always make sure that when you're going through the house you do a proper inspection and that you ask questions because you are indeed entitled to ask those questions and make sure you know what you're buying and then we're going to have a happy seller and a happy purchaser as well as a happy transferring attorney <laughs> And, and a happy, happy agent. agent. <laughs> <laughs> and would you recommend a, um, a property inspection, um, a, a qualified inspection person to come out? Well, remember the purchaser doesn't have this right automatically. So unless they've reserved this right in the offer to purchase, they cannot have this done. It remains the seller's property mm -hmm. and the seller can make this decision. Okay. I have found that the sellers are quite willing to do this, of course. Yes. Uh, if uh, you do have one done, the only trick I can tell you is tell the inspector that he's not going to be paid to do the job because if you pay someone to do something, they'll find fault. So yes. if you tell them, listen, this is only done for an inspection purpose, then you are fine, you'll get the best report okay. for purchaser and seller. Thank you. It's only awesome. a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. And then if you guys have any other questions regarding property inspections, um, you're welcome to um, put a comment below. And also you can contact, well actually contact me and I'll speak to JD. But um, I also want to refer you to JD's, um, to the Dark Sun Hearden website where they have, um, tell us more, you've got an app and a few videos. We believe we are the first uh, property attorneys to have a, an app. And on this app we have a video that explains the transfer process so that anyone can understand it. That app even explained my job to me and I mean that <laughs> in itself is a mean feat. Uh, 
on it if you are doing a transfer or a bond with us as well as bond cancellation you get live updates if you press a button to speak to an attorney or to the paralegal doing your transfer it's absolutely mind-boggling what you can do with that but importantly all the information the articles that we publish is also on the app as well as our website so please pay us a visit I love the app. I use it all the time. It really helps with keep giving feedback to my clients, finding out where my transfers are. It really works well. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Melissa. My pleasure. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. <laughs> okay.